Hey guys, welcome to another video. And today we are basically just going to set up uh, this thing. This a product button to do something, okay? And we have to make this cursor if we hover over the video template. Okay, we are going to go to home page and then basically where does it say? Cursor is just going to be pointer. Okay, nice. That's good. Now we once we click on here, what should happen basically? It just open another div on top of uh, whatever we have here, and that one should have something like you know, drag drop your file, or click to upload your file, and then we're gonna have a custom file uploading system, file uploading exceptions, only MP4, AVI, MKV, FLV, and we'll see what else formats are there, and we are going to do that. Well, we're gonna do that. <laughs> but don't ask me. I have no idea. I don't make this. I have not made the site before. Okay. I did try to make it before. I was making the same video. I was making a longer version of the video. But once I, tr I was in the uploading section, uploading the file section, I wasted a lot of time in the video actually, uh, trying to do different things to actually get the progress bar stuff like that while uploading uploading file uploading the file basically and uh, the video went a pretty long time and it just said no I'm not going to make this site I'm going to delete all, all of the files I'm going to delete all of the videos and I'm going to start over and there we go we are here and today we are going to make that system so first of all we need something to actually detect the click here and we need something to actually you know open that thing basically we need use states and maybe context API to actually connect uh, the, the things together let me think about this one should we have that component in the home bar, uh, should we have that upload thing component in the whole thing? Well, I don't, I don't know what it should be. I mean, okay, let me think about this thing. If we're going to have that over, over all of the things that we have here, then it will not care about the nav or stuff like that. And um, let's the one thing. Let's go to youtube.com. We'll just say, Yeah, I want to create a new video, upload a new video, something like that. Okay, we have something like that, and yeah, it doesn't, it just wraps, it just you know, it is bigger than the, the nav bar itself. So, yeah, we're gonna do that. We are going to make a new component here, we're gonna call it something like. <laughs> Uh, video upload component dot JSX RFC and uh, in the bootstrap we used to have cards we're gonna have card in tailwind CSS card component to the CSS I hope I get a better one um I want just a card okay I don't want the image I don't want nothing I want just a card well, never mind. Using bootstraps were a good days, but we have to leave things to do more things, right? That's right. Okay, what is this? What are they saying to us? I'm not sure why is it being becoming red. Alright, we'll see what's the issue, but for now, I mean, it should be like that. Why is it just angry? Uh, why is it angry? I don't get it. How about I do this? Okay, it's angry on something particular. Oh, uh, it's angry on this image. That's what I thought. Let's get rid of the image. <laughs> we don't want the image, okay? And the, basically, we're just gonna get the video pool and stuff like that. We want to keep it on the very top, so it should be able to wrap. It should be able to, you know. Okay, it should be able to take nav up, nav bar down. So basically, first of all, they're gonna they're gonna show us the video thing. 
And another thing we need to do, because if we're going to do this, the navbar is not going to be on the very top. We want the navbar to be on the very top. We want the video upload to be a separate thing, but we also don't want it to wrap over everything else, right? Can I just do position? Okay, I can do something like absolute. It will be just a PG. It will just specify the position thing. Compiled. We refresh. Okay. Side props expecting did it did it did it margin spacing plus em okay where is that thing using JSX side props prop expect a mapping from style you mean class name oh I try to use the thing. I didn't use the HTML to this converter. Did I? I did not. That's why I'm getting the issues. Okay. Can I coffee member? <laughs> Never mind. God, that's the JPJ. Okay, why is there? They are. Why are they calling me for the JPJ? We don't ask for the JPJ. Okay, let's go just over here. JPJ woman holding a cup. Sorry, we don't need you. Okay. We can also increase the Z index of this thing so nothing wraps over it. Z index to be. Oh, come on. Okay. No, that's good. And uh, we're gonna we want this thing to be in the middle. How about I say I'm not sure if that thing is going to actually work. Margin auto zero. Margin auto yeah in this section I say margin auto. Maybe I say zero auto. Okay, basically it doesn't have much of a height. I wonder. I guess that thing is that is the case. Height is equal to be hundred percent. So okay, what if the height is going to be hundred percent? It's going to do me like that. Well, I know what I have to do. Basically, I need to make this thing, this class thing here. I need to say. Margin is going to be auto. Actually, margin on the x axis or the y axis doesn't really matter. Here we can say height is going to be 100. Here we can have this over an bar. Okay, I think uh, h100 doesn't really work. I'm gonna have height 100 percent. Okay, now it's exactly in the middle of the screen. Okay, wherever we are, it doesn't really matter. It has to be in the middle. Or now we have members only. Can I can make a coffee better than a? Can you make your? Can you can coffee make you better? Than okay, so what we're gonna do here? Hmm. Basically, we have a lot of chunks in there. Do 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 do. Jonathan rank. Uh, we don't want it. Okay, we don't want that thing also. Just becomes empty. Why is there the border on the on the right left side? Border L, border R, border L. No, I just said border. You guys are crazy. Okay. Bottom left zero. Why is it zero? Okay, they don't even have the radius on the bottom left. Rounder R. Rounded on the right side. Rounded MB. 
Mm, not actually AMD. Same round. Okay, fine. Rounded B. MD. No worries. We're gonna set up our main thing. We're gonna make a new div. We're gonna have a font awesome here. Okay, still the old issue. Are you serious? Don't serious doing this thing? <laughs> I don't really must know why they are doing this, but yeah, they are really pissing me off. I'll be honest with that one. You can see here we have a here. Bar upload, but here they're like, ah, nah, we are not gonna give you the options. If you're not gonna give me the options, who is going to give me the options? Holy crap! I don't really like this thing. Okay, is there any other library for font also where I have to set up something? Oh, I see. We're gonna have font. This is the same thing, file upload. We don't really much care now. Mm, upload. From the upload library, what we get. This little upload thing, right? Good. Better than nothing. We're gonna have a class name of flex. Uh, flex column, basically. We have here another thing. It's gonna be span. That's gonna be. Drop. Or click to upload video. Well, we have a lot of things to do. Okay, okay. Why don't we have? Uh, why don't we have rounded on the middle, on the bottom side? LD, LD, LD. What the hell is this LD? Okay, what is this? At this point, everything be like, no man, I'm sorry, cannot just handle the things. We'll have to look at that thing also because I wonder something is wrong with this thing. When uh, I said margin going to be auto, okay. Basically, margin auto is not working. Align item center, justify corner center. We don't really much have much of the things. You can say align item center for this thing, justify corner center here also. Cannot really much change any much of the things, right? Maybe you can just say width is going to be hundred percent. What is it going to change? Nothing. Okay, we'll say about that thing later on. But for now, for the PC section, is working pretty fine. When I'm making fully response to size something like that, we're just making side that actually works okay good drop or click your, this thing to the your files okay border array border array we need to get rid of the LD stuff it's killing me dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. border 2 
LG flex amount choice under LG rounder, LG rounder B none. Why is it rounder B none? Yeah, that's what I was asking for. Why is that rounded, right? I mean, it doesn't have to be rounded. Alrighty, now let's get started with our stuff. I'm gonna say first of all, the last name for the icon. I'm gonna have uh, text of two XL and the scale of the maximum it can get to. Oh, we can just okay. We cannot just scale it to a lot, basically. Two XL. This is the biggest it can be. What is this? Okay, wow, it just get tilted. I wasn't aware of that thing. Is there an Elder 3XL? Yep, there is 3XL. 4XL? Oh, there is 4XL. 5XL? 6XL? Oh my god! 6XL looks kind of okay. I would say text gray 500 uh, 700 yep definitely gonna go with that one if I get rid of the scale and I just keep increasing the text then what is going to happen there's going to be an advantage we are not going to collide our text with the thing Okay, it looks pretty fine for me. You can say class well, is going to text to X Excel at least. Okay, good. Now what we can do, we can just say Okay, we are already defining the padding somewhere here. Padding twenty isn't much but um I mean Something's better than nothing. Okay, 20 is the highest it can give us. So I guess we need to do it our way. That is going to say margin 10, margin 20. So we are increasing this both way. Adding 20. Okay, we are, we are even increasing this much more. Okay, there we go. We have a little bit of upload, drop down, stuff like that. Okay, we can have a little bit of coloring in this one. We're going to have a background, uh, maybe. Maybe a light gray, I mean. Something like that, and we want a little bit of borders to be around this thing. Okay, I'm gonna have a border too. Border should be black. Okay, how about I want something custom made? I want a border which should be two pixels dashed black and with that I also want my border to be rounded MD okay I mean it doesn't, it doesn't really look that bad But maybe we can we could have done another bat another thing, okay? We're gonna just make another div here. We're gonna have wrap whatever this thing all inside that div. And we're gonna set this style thing to that div. And yeah, this is what would have happened. We would have got a little bit more bigger area for defining our 
is just around it. Drop or click to upload video. I think it looks pretty good. I'm not okay. I'm gonna say let me go to YouTube basically, so we can exactly know how good we are. Mm. <laughs> well, they're not asking for something like that, but the other thing also looks kind of good. I mean, usually people click on select files because they know something specific. People are not going to click here, right? But in other case, we're saying, okay, drop or click here to upload video. And uh, yeah, that's what we are doing for now. We could have maybe just, you know, have a dash for the whole thing, but I don't think that would have been a good choice. I mean, we can just try it out right now. It doesn't really matter to us, anyway. We are having this thing, we're gonna say, okay, get the height thing, and we want. Okay, we're defining the border right there. Here I said border style is going to be border is going to be two two pixel dash black. Oh my god! It actually does look much better than we expected it to be. Well, let's get rid of the other stuffs. We are just saying around the MD, let's just say around it. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. So, we made that thing. Upload video, now we're gonna make a little bit of more things. Alright, we just said something like that. Flex column. We're gonna have input file. Name is going to be something like we'll say what do we call it what do we call it uh... video file video file okay nice it's going to be hidden it's going to accept only a few things like dot mp4 dot flv dot mkv dot webm dot uh, abi if that is a thing I actually watched the movie in dot abi I guess actually dot abi mkv do we have more options I mean we could have more options but we don't want the more options to be here so we're gonna say multiple it's going to be false we're not expecting multiple things and uh, another thing I think that's it for this one okay so we need something to be connected with this thing so it's just going to have on change function like that and what do we do for that we're gonna have a ref When I use uh, const, when I say constant, uh, video file is going to be use ref. When I connect this ref with the use ref, so we can have the input actually. We can have this element connected with this video ref, so we can use it anywhere. And uh, we will not be having some label, so we can connect it with some label. Basically, we're gonna have. Uh, Last thing is this thing. Okay, here we're gonna say on drag over. We need to say on drag over get e when I say e dot prevent default. So basically, we're just saying when someone is dragging something, when the over the their drag file is over our in over our div, what should happen? We just want the event to prevent default. We don't want uh, them to open that. We, if they were going to paste the file there, 
we don't want that the, their file to open up. Normally, what will happen if you're going to drag your file into your some website, you're going that file is just going to open up right there, right? Uh, the image or the video. We don't want that to happen. So that's for the on drag over thing. Then we have another thing as called as uh, on drop, which means you're, you when you drop something, okay? When you drop something on that thing, we want to do something. On drop, okay. On not drag, on drop. We're gonna get a function. We're gonna actually get an e, and then we're gonna call a function uh, on drop constant handle video upload handle upload. It's going to get over e, and there we go. We're gonna Say send the e to and it'll upload. Here we're gonna first of all say e dot prevent default. Afterwards, what we wanna do, we actually want to set the files whatever we get from here to this thing. We have the video ref already, so we're gonna do this thing. What we wanna do, we just basically wanna say um no 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 okay never mind actually. <laughs> I guess I, will, I might have to make this thing a label and that would have to say ID is going to be equal to video file this ID basically so we're just going to stay connected together if I click on the label what should happen it should basically open up you know do whatever the label input that wants to do so yeah we can make this thing uh, it will make the things much more easier that's the main point doesn't really matter. Other things really doesn't matter. Okay. And uh, we are. We don't see either prima default. And uh, the console dot dot log element. I don't really much know about this thing yet. Go to videos. Okay, nice. On drop, we have few things right here. We have the target, drop, data transfer. We have the files. Good. It means we need to get in the data transfer and the files. We have to say basically our uh, what is that video file? Those files are going to be equal to our e dot. Uh, data transfer uh, dot files. That is what it's actually going actually going to be. If we okay, there are going to be conditions. So basically, if we are clicking on the item, we should get e dot target. Okay, let's get e dot target in here also. Oh my God, it's Did I remove the console log? Target. Okay, we are also getting the target right there. Um, what do we do? Let me think about this. Okay, I know what to do. If I click on here, it should open up this thing, right? Both cases, you can see you have a custom file. We have the custom file things right there, and that's a good thing. Now here, if I do go to videos, select my video, nothing is happening. I think it's reload. Okay, nothing is happening because we don't have an on change thing. Once we upload something, we need to say on change. Give the E to handle upload. Alright, let's do a refresh. Okay, we do got the E. Here the files are different. We will not be having the drop thing, right? Okay, I know what to do. I would say if E dot data transfer, then do those things. Otherwise, 
use drag video one. Otherwise, else with a file dot files is going to be a dot target dot files. And I want to say console log video files dot files in both the cases. Just to confirm we're getting the right thing if we drag or drop. I want to click and we get the file zero and okay when you say file zero. Oh yeah, we see another thing, edit refresh. You saw that the icon was first of all way more bigger and then it just got little bit icon. How do we fix the issue? I think something related to font also, or maybe the class name are being applied first. Um, we can do one, one thing. We can just say style is going to be display icon display constant icon display set icon display is going to be used state by default going to be none and once everything loads in the user using the user effect hook we want to call this thing only one time though we'll just say okay set I can display to something like nothing inline block maybe yep it just like Nothing in this combat. It does. It will. It will not a matter for us because once we click on that thing, the hood it should not be shown like that. Okay. That's a good thing. Now that's testing time. Okay, we get shadow hack stuff like that. We get the size of the file. Okay, let's try to drag and drop. We get the same thing. And congratulations, guys. Okay, we're gonna make another thing. Not another thing which is gonna say cursor should be pointer once we just are over this thing. Well guys, congratulations in this video. We learned how we drag how we actually make on drag and on click function to upload the files. And uh, in the next video we are actually going to move at one bit ahead. We're gonna say yeah, once we he has uploaded the file, we wanna show him another thing. In the same component though. We're gonna make it maybe a little bit more bigger. We're gonna hide this component. We wanna show another thing. Where what is going to happen? We're gonna have the progress bar. We're going to have uh, the title of the video, the description of the video, and the okay, one second. Mm. Oh, okay, maybe we're gonna have. Uh, not maybe. Actually, we're gonna have start upload the video. We're gonna have below options. We're gonna show them the name of the video and uh, the size of the video. And once you start uploading, we're gonna show him the estimation estimated time to upload the video. Okay. So basically, the video size is in bytes, so we can multiply the bytes. Actually, you know, one million bytes is equal to one megabyte. So we can just multiply the bytes with some uh, maybe one million yeah we can divide them with one million so that they can actually become megabytes so we can do those things and then it's just it's just going to be a lot of more fun we're also going to set up the authentication stuff in the future but i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you in the future very soon have a nice day and see you tomorrow